Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today we'll talk about changes in ICH GCP with the upcoming Revision 3. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. In the world of clinical research, good clinical practice, GCP, is a fundamental framework that ensures the integrity and ethical conduct of trials. For more than two decades, International Council for Harmonization ICHE6GCP has served as the cornerstone document for clinical research worldwide. However, with the release of the draft version of Revision 3 of ICHE6GCP, significant changes are on the horizon. These changes aim to make trials more efficient and transparent by implementing risk-based methods and enhancing oversight. In this video, we will explore the key modifications in the upcoming revision and how they will impact the landscape of clinical research. Evolution of the Principles of ICHGCP The principles of good clinical practice form the bedrock of ethical and high-quality research. In the previous revision, E6R2, there were 13 concise principles outlined. However, with the impending revision, the principles are set to undergo substantial changes. Let's delve into some of the important modifications to the fundamental principles. 1. Use a fit-for-purpose quality management system. Under the upcoming revision, the focus of the quality management system in clinical trials will be on being fit for purpose. While systems to control trial quality were already in place, the emphasis will now be on factors critical to the quality of the trial. The protection of participants and the maintenance of result reliability will take center stage. This change sends a clear message to trial sponsors to streamline control measures that do not contribute to subject protection or data integrity. By reducing unnecessary burdens, sponsors can enhance trial efficiency without compromising participant safety. 2. Record only what is necessary. Clinical trials often become unnecessarily complex, increasing the burden on both patients and investigators. The revision emphasizes the need to focus on what truly matters in trial design. By eliminating unnecessary data collection and streamlining trial procedures, researchers can improve the overall trial experience for participants and investigators alike. This shift towards simplicity will not only enhance efficiency, but also contribute to the quality and reliability of trial results. Three enhancing visibility of trials and outcomes. Revision 3 of ICH E6 introduces a call for the registration of trials on publicly accessible and recognized databases. This aligns with the European Union's push for greater transparency in clinical research through the EU Clinical Trials Regulation. By making trial information more visible, stakeholders can gain insights into ongoing trials facilitate collaborations, and avoid duplication of efforts. Increased visibility will foster trust and promote the sharing of valuable knowledge across the clinical research community. 4. Structured delegation and maintaining oversight. Outsourcing trial-related activities to contract research organizations is a common practice in clinical research. In recognition of this practice, the revision emphasizes the need for clear and structured delegation of responsibilities. Sponsors are now explicitly called upon to maintain oversight over outsourced activities. This highlights the criticality of efficient oversight and the importance of using appropriate tools and documentation to ensure transparency and accountability. Key Updates in Revision 3 while the previous 13 principles continue to be relevant in Revision 3, the upcoming update introduces several new elements. The expansion of the principles from just over one page in Revision 2 to more than four pages in Revision 3 signifies the emphasis placed on these new elements. Let's explore some of the additional changes that will shape the future of clinical research. 1. Risk-Based Approach 
One of the central themes in Revision 3 is the implementation of risk-based approaches throughout the trial process. This approach involves identifying, assessing, and managing risks to ensure participant safety and data integrity. By focusing resources on areas of highest risk, researchers can optimize trial outcomes and allocate resources efficiently. The revision provides guidance on how to develop risk management plans and integrate risk assessment into trial protocols. 2. Expanded Role of Technology With the advancements in technology, Revision 3 acknowledges the potential benefits of electronic systems in streamlining trial processes and enhancing data management. The use of electronic systems can facilitate real-time data capture, remote monitoring, and efficient collaboration among trial stakeholders. However, the revision also emphasizes the need for appropriate validation, data integrity safeguards, and protection of participant privacy when utilizing electronic systems. 3. Informed Consent and Participant Protection Participant protection remains a paramount concern in clinical research. Revision 3 places a renewed emphasis on the process of obtaining informed consent from trial participants. It highlights the importance of providing clear and comprehensive information to participants, ensuring their voluntary participation, and respecting their rights throughout the trial. The revision also addresses the challenges posed by vulnerable populations and emphasizes the need for additional safeguards when involving such participants in research. 4. Investigator Responsibilities and Qualifications Revision 3 outlines the responsibilities of investigators and reinforces the need for their appropriate qualifications and experience. Adequate training, oversight, and adherence to GCP principles are essential to ensure the reliability and integrity of trial data. The revision also stresses the importance of ongoing training and professional development to keep investigators up to date with evolving best practices in research. 5. Collaboration and Data Sharing The revision recognizes the value of collaboration and data sharing in advancing scientific knowledge and accelerating the development of new therapies. It encourages sponsors, researchers, and regulatory authorities to foster an environment that promotes open dialogue, data exchange, and cooperation. By leveraging shared data and insights, researchers can build upon existing knowledge and drive more efficient and effective clinical trials. Future-proofing clinical trial operations for ICH E6R3 with the imminent arrival of ICH E6R3, it is crucial for stakeholders in clinical research to prepare for the upcoming changes. By proactively adapting to the revised principles and implementing the necessary measures, organizations can future-proof their clinical trial operations. Here are some steps to consider. 1. Stay informed. Regularly monitor updates from regulatory bodies and industry associations to stay abreast of the latest developments in guidelines. 2. Assess current processes. Conduct a comprehensive review of existing processes and identify areas that may require modification to align with the revised principles. 3. Develop risk management plans. Implement risk-based approaches by assessing and managing potential risks throughout the trial process. This will help optimize resource allocation and enhance participant safety. 4. Embrace technology. Explore the adoption of electronic systems and technologies that can streamline trial processes, enhance data management, and facilitate collaboration among stakeholders. 5. Enhance participant engagement Place a strong focus on obtaining informed consent, providing clear and comprehensive information to participants, and ensuring their rights and well-being throughout the trial. 6. Foster collaboration. Embrace a culture of collaboration and data, sharing to leverage collective insights and drive innovation in clinical research. By taking proactive steps to align with the upcoming revision, organizations can position themselves for success in the evolving landscape of clinical research.
In conclusion, the forthcoming Revision 3 of ICH E6 GCP brings significant changes to the principles and practices of clinical research. By implementing risk-based methods, enhancing transparency, and promoting efficient oversight, the revision aims to improve trial efficiency, participant protection, and data integrity. Stakeholders must embrace these changes and adapt their operations to future-proof their clinical trial processes. By staying informed, leveraging technology, and fostering collaboration, organizations can navigate the evolving landscape of clinical research and contribute to the advancement of medical knowledge and patient care. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more clinical research content. We hope to see you again soon.